Okay, here we have the typical lid switch scenario. Uh, your washer would not spin if you had a bad lid switch. And so I've got the top console off, and I've shown you how to take the top console away from the machine before in a previous video. And so basically, the way to sort of check this is, uh, let's see if you can see it. Yeah, right there, you can see there's nothing there. There should be a tang right there. And when you push that tang with a pencil or a pen, you should hear a click. If you don't hear a click, then you have a problem. And on this one, it was, it was there, but there was no click. So what I found out was, the lid switch has come apart. You can see it's separated right there. And so what I will do is I will clean up the edges, uh, use some of my favorite glue, E6000, works wonders, but don't smell it, because anyway. Uh, so what I would do, I would glue that back together and then I would wrap a wire around it just to snug it up tight and then check for continuity and it would probably be okay. So that's what happens when these things get slammed. People don't care, they're in a hurry, they slam them, they bust this thing, it's very common. Then you wouldn't, you wouldn't have a spin. So if you bust it then your machine is not going to spin anymore. So that's your Kenmore tip for tonight. Hope you enjoyed it.